He's been arrested three times, forced into exile once, and his script is still perhaps being written with the elections coming up next year. My guest is Chama Fumba, who many of you know as Pilato. Pilato, welcome to the interview. Thank you very much, big man. Laka. <laughs> You've been quiet for quite some time now. What have you been up to? Uh, I haven't been quiet. I've, uh, I've, been, I've been doing some, some, some work and uh, I was working on an album which I think will be coming out in July this year and tentatively uh, on the 4th of July. Yes, otherwise uh, sometimes I think better when I speak less. So Maybe you're still suffering from the effects of the exile that you are forced into. No, 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 no. That one, that, that thing is history. It's, uh, it's, uh, the body went in, in exile, the mind, the spirit remained here, so that's the most important part of, uh, of that episode. So how is the spirit leading you right now? Uh, the spirit is excited, it's happy to be here, and uh, still ready to, to do the work. You've had multiple brushes with the law. Some people actually think that you do it deliberately in order just to steer controversy. Mm. Is that the case? No, uh, so all the time that I've been arrested and involved with the police, it's a government that has been guilty, it's a police that have been guilty. You can go to any Zambian police station, any courts in Zambia, they'll tell you that I've never committed a crime. It is the police, it is the government that has been committing a crime against me. So they are the ones that have been uh, assaulting the constitution and not myself. There are other people that believe that you cause controversy deliberately. Mm. For mm. instance, you've done songs like Rat in the Port. Mm. There's a song that you did where you were insinuating that the president is a drunkard. I, ma 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 much, much as uh, it's the government that has been wrong according to uh, the constitution, like you are claiming, don't you think such lines would actually incite people to rise against you? So I, I'm responsible for what I say and not for what people are shown. If I wanted to say anything to the president, I would say it in a way that I feel fit to do. Anybody that assumes that I said something, that's not my business. If I called somebody a drunkard and I mentioned their name, emotions are not laws. So if your emotion is not scattered for in the constitution, it's not a law. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do with that. But and the gonna... person that you sing about is the president of this country, like the last few songs that you've done, and he's got support. I didn't say that. Clearly, there's a connection between mm. what would be happening at a particular time yeah. and what you'd be singing about. Mm. And the insinuation, the innuendo, is yeah. that you talk about the president. That is not my... in my space to explain or justify. The... The best I can do is make, make, a, make a song. I can make a song. The song that plays in your mind is your creativity, is your work of art. I do the song that I record in the studio. The song that you respond to in your mind is your work. I cannot be held accountable for the things that you create in your own mind. Those people that feel in any way that I talk about the president, I disrespect the president, they are artists, they are creatives, and that's their way. I respect that. I refuse to get in a position where I have to explain my work, where I have to justify my work. That's not my space. The but on occasion that you've been arrested, one of the first few cries has been that there's no freedom of expression in Zambia. But you've not stopped releasing the songs. Yeah, uh, I keep saying that I'm constantly in prison and for me attempting to escape the prison is me trying to do what I'm told that I shouldn't do. So if I do not sing or talk about certain topics because some people will be offended, that's you are putting me in prison. I don't want to be imprisoned. I'm a full human being. Why do you want to tell me what to sing about? Why do you want to tell me what to think about. So why then cry about the lack of freedom of expression and yet you still release those songs? Because I want to escape the prison. I don't want to be kept like this. I want to say anything I feel. Which you do anyway. 
Yeah, and then they get they get me arrested. They they arrest me. So they should stop arresting me. They should allow me the space to say what I think. Where do you think freedom of expression starts and ends with you artists in Zambia? Uh, so first of all, it has to start for me to know where it starts. Where does it start? It doesn't start anywhere. Where does it end? It can't end if it doesn't, if it doesn't start again. But when? We just had a, a, a situation where individuals were given an ultimatum that they should apologize for demanding for accountability from their elected leaders. That shouldn't have been a case if freedom of expression existed even by an inch. That can only happen in a society where freedom of expression is a crime. It's, it, it hasn't started. One of those individuals ended up apologizing within a few hours of him being given the ultimatum. What did you make of that, especially that he's a fellow musician? Uh, so, you know, we look at these things from, a very, from very different perspectives. I, I, I would be in a position to explain my decision adequately. It is very difficult for me to conclude or form an opinion of why somebody apologized and whatever, whatever inspired without me listening to their story. The best I can do is mind my own business at this point until I get to hear what constituted that busy environment in that space. We don't know wha what phone calls he received. We don't know what happened that pushed him in a position where he had to apologize. Uh, it's difficult for me to form an opinion over a 30 seconds video clip. What is true though, is that with the elections coming up next year, most musicians get aligned with political parties. Mm. So you have uh, a group of musicians singing or performing for the ruling party mm. at rallies. Mm. And then there are those that also sing for the opposition. Mm. And the way Zambians have come to interpret that is that you musicians belong to certain political parties. Mm. What is your take on that? So, first of all, we must agree that society is a little hypocritical. I listened to what FM today and there's a song about, there's a song or a campaign advert for the UPND. After 10 minutes, there's a campaign advert for PF. I cannot go to what FM and start branding them as belonging or supporting any political party. What what FM is doing is they're providing a platform for commercial purposes and also just for information. You go to a printing company, they print Chitenges for PF, they print Chitenges for UPND. At no point will society start blaming that printer to say you are PF or you are UPND. Maybe the reason they will not blame that printing press or in this case also the radio station is because the two are offering both platforms of political parties. So the same company that is printing Chitenge materials for PF Mm. may also be printing for UPND. So yes. they cannot be accused. But when musicians are clearly going to be known to be singing for the president of mm. the country and another group singing mm. for uh, the opposition, then maybe people have got a justification. So that's what I'm saying. So if Daddy So is singing for PF today, can the UPND hire him the following day? Clearly if, not. That's if, what we've seen. If they could, he was going to go because he's just working. So would you, for instance, sing for PF if they invited you? I can't. Why? I don't want. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Would you if, sing? Would you sing for the UPND? I or? can't. I can't. Why? I I don't want. So who are you then? How do you describe yourself uh, in, with the elections coming up and the role that you'll be playing? So I I I am only the person I'll die as. At the moment, I'm still forming myself. I'm still creating myself. But thus far, who are you? Uh, I'm what I've become now. <laughs> <laughs> so until until the day I'll die, then you say if I'll die as a carpenter, then you say oh, Pilato died as a carpenter. I'm still I'm still in the process of becoming what I should become. At the same time that you're in the process of becoming what you will become, we've seen certain times when you've been uh, in trouble. Yeah. 
opposition political party mm. leaders mm. or parties mm. have provided lawyers for you. Why? Uh, are you uh, which one is that? Uh, we've seen lawyers representing you that also represent the opposition. I don't think... <laughs> so the... I've been represented by Keith Mwimba. Who represents, who is known to represent but he's not the opposition. Owned, he's not owned, he's not controlled by the European. Mm -hmm. He's just a good lawyer. A good lawyer will get clients from hell and from heaven. Like everybody. That's what good lawyers do. They get business, they get clients. So I've never been uh, helped with a lawyer by any opposition political party. So know. if lawyers from the PF came to represent you, would you accept? They don't come, I go to. Would you go to PF lawyers? If they are good, I would. <laughs> <laughs> there are those that brand you as a disgruntled youth just seeking attention. I cannot, I cannot explain their stupidity. I, I, it's, it's, it's their privilege to be stupid. It's and there are those that also brand you as a UPND or a stooge of the, of, UPND. Of the UPND. I cannot justify their, or explain their... But what, co what coincidence is there that people should be branding you or associating you with a particular political party? It's just... Coincidence? So, uh, Mr. Gondwe, the we're living in a programmed society. So, like it's programmed. So nothing is uh, nothing is new in most of these things. So when I look at you, I'm seeing things that have programmed that have been told about you, whether I've asked you or not. But I pick those that are convenient for me where I am. If I want to accuse you of anything, I will pick a side that is convenient for me. Those that accuse me of anything, it's not because they value the truth, but it's something that they can bear. That's something that they can believe. That's a thought that, that's how society works now. If I see somebody from China, before I even talk to them, I will have a picture frame where I put them, okay, the Chinese people are like. So if I was to say anything, I can't say something that goes against the narrative that I hold about this particular individual. Those people that have said those things about me, I respect that view, but it's because it's a narrative they have. They can't argue with themselves. Wouldn't one be right to say we also play a part as human beings in building that narrative or perception? We do, and I can assure you that 90% of people, things that people know about me is not true. What is true about you? What is true is that I'm not what they say I am. Who are you then? I am this guy who is becoming the guy that I've become. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, shift gear. What role do you think you as musicians play? in the development of the country. Okay, so again, I, I refuse to look at artists as special human beings as, or unique human beings. So we are just creators. So we have people like you that are journalists. We have people that are teachers. We have people that are pilots. All of us here have a, a same measure of responsibility in society. Artists are not role models. Artists are not messiahs. We are just human beings that are gifted differently. Op but opinion which, leaders too. You can be an opinion leader. You can be too. Everyone can. Depending so, on what you do. And that's why I'm asking, what role do you think you as musicians play? Just like the teachers, the role that teachers play, the role that doctors play. We're doing different things, but to the same society. What I'm trying to avoid is a situation where we put artists, we raise them to a standard where we can't even know the politician. You want these artists to behave like this, you want this artist, no, you can't say that, oh, you can't do this, or you can't do, but when it is done by a politician or it is done by a footballer, you don't care. So you, you, you put in so much pressure on somebody who can just sing. You forgetting to put pressure on somebody who is supposed to think, supposed to manage resources of the country. You want this guy who can just make a song to be so perfect that your kids must be uh, inspired by this guy. But you don't care what the president or the minister does. But you just care for, no, Pirato, you can't say that. You're a role model. Pirato, you... <sighs> what is your ideal president? 
The ideal president is one who is not even a president. What that means is, if somebody is a president, they shouldn't remind us that they are presidents. They shouldn't impose that on us. We shouldn't forget that they are president. If your ideal president is one that is not, why then do you sing about people that are presidents? They are terrible presidents. That's why I ask. What is your because ideal president? They keep reminding us that they are presidents. They keep because they know that they are so bad at being presidents that they have to remind us that they are presidents. Mr. Gondwe, you are a black man like I am. At no time have you felt the need to remind me that you're black. Because you know it's pronounced, it's there, I can see it. But if you feel the need to remind me that you're black like me, then there's a problem with your blackness or my perception of your blackness. If a president or any leader constantly feels the need to remind the people that they are leaders or they are presidents, then there is something wrong. In the past, if, if this president feels that he has to arrest people for people to know that he's in charge, if he has to, he has to steal for him to have so much money for people to know that he's in charge, if he has to, that's not a president. That's not an ideal president. Presidents, leaders, even if they don't say anything, we mustn't forget or for, for, ignore the fact that they are presidents. They have, it just has to be there. We have to remember, they don't have to remind us. In the past, you've stated that you're committed to seeing a better Zambia. Yes. Paint a picture for me of a better Zambia. A better Zambia is one where citizens will not be so willing to leave if they were given American visas or UK visas. I would want to see a Zambia where Zambians, especially the young people, their dreams would still come to life even without going out of this country. Where people be rushing to Zambia because dreams do come true here. Where you don't have to be born in Lusaka for you to get a bursary to go to university. You don't have to, to, be, to belong to a certain tribe for you to get a job in the government. You don't have to know Lusambo or any other chap for you to get uh, a, a business deal with the government. It's, it has to be a society that is equal, a society that is inclusive, a society that looks at human beings as human beings. You don't have to explain anything. If I'm looking for somebody to be a doctor, I just need to know that, okay, so this is Mr. Gondwe, or you're qualified, you're skilled, get the job. But not have to, you don't have to go through the uncle who knew the uncle and, no, 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 it shouldn't be like that. So my ideal Zambia is one that, that, that provides a platform for everybody, that treats everybody the same, where dreams do come true. How do you think the future looks like? Or what do you think the future looks like between now and the elections next year for a musician like yourself? Uh, it looks good. It, it does look good. It looks bad for politicians, but very good for me. You don't foresee a situation where, depending on the songs that you're going to release, getting arrested again, being forced into exile? There's no way we can be on the same side with the devil. Uh, if we are on the same side with the devil, it means that I've compri compromised myself. Who's the devil in this case? No, uh, meaning if you are wrong and I'm right, we can't be on the same side. Do you have political ambitions? No, not yet. When will you have them? I'm still becoming something I'm yet to know. But people will say you're just an armchair critic. All these solutions that you offer, it's probably high time that you sought political office. Mr. Gondo, people say a lot of things. People say a lot of things. I told you, like, there's so many things that I've heard about myself that I, I don't think do happen. Like, I can't change what people think. I can't change what people say about me. And it's, that's, that's what they call freedom of expression. The best thing I can do is not to become what they say I am. When they say, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, I ask myself, am I that? If I am that, I ask myself, is this good for me? If I'm not, if it's not good for me and I am exactly what they are saying, I have the responsibility to improve myself. But in your lifetime, do you at all foresee yourself being a politician? That's what I'm saying. So, at the moment, I don't have that plan. 
should I think it will be necessary for me to get into political space for a specific reason or whatever reason? I'm going to say it. For now, me being an artist, I have the power to achieve what I would like to achieve at this point. I can say a word and 10, 20 people will hear it. I can say it, I can put it in a song, people will hear it. That's what, that's, that's, that's a lot of power for me. No one voted for me to be an artist. No one voted for me to be an activist. Nobody's going to vote me out. Political power is borrowed power. And as we're going towards elections next year, what do you think the role of musicians is in highlighting some of the things that you talk about? So musicians should just go about their business, make the music, make the money, just like teachers are doing, just like footballers are doing. Everyone, I keep saying this, Mr. Gondo, artists are not unique, special people. We are just gifted, gifted differently. If musicians are going to educate people about social issues, footballers should do the same. Teachers should do the same. Generally should do the same. The responsibility to build a better society is not on the shoulders of musicians alone. No. It's on every living citizen of this country. Artists will play their role. Journalists should play their role. Teachers, doctors, minbus conduct, everyone should play their role. It shouldn't be a special responsibility reserved just for artists. No. All of us must play a role. We go buy from the same shop, same price. If we leave this responsibility for artists alone, we will get bribed. I forget, I start apologizing, and you people, that's what, what's going to happen. But if everybody else has got this responsibility and doing what they're supposed to be doing, we will influence change that benefits everybody. If you leave this for artists, artists will be sorted out and everybody else remains in the court. Thank you. Thank you. Was that hard talk? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>